Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So this video, an update regarding talk show host Wendy Williams and why her family members, including her son, Kevin Jr., will not file for guardianship over her Wells Fargo bank account because as we know, no, Wendy Williams money is still frozen you guys this is tragic this is sad her lawyers need to work really hard to get this woman back her money Wendy is fighting for her reputation her money she's got people that she has to pay she's got property that she has to look after you guys it is sad that this is happening and you guys know how much we love Wendy here on this channel but this is the reason why her family refused to have guardianship over Wendy and they're not gonna file for this. Why? Because they say that she's fine. She's able to handle her own money. Even her son is saying this as well, that Wendy does not need him to be her guardian, her legal guardian. But you know who really wants that position though, right? Bernie, her ex-manager. I can't believe that this man, he's not even spoken, by the way, you guys. He's keeping quiet. This is somebody who's such a snake and moving in silence. And by the way, in this video, I'm going to share with you guys um, proof that this ex-manager took over 10 grand or so from Wendy Williams Wells Fargo account and used it to get a lawyer to go against her, you guys. Like, this is... What kind of employee does this? Like, do you hate your employer so much that you would do this to them? Like, can you imagine? Imagine if you had an assistant that was working for you, you know, um, and in this case, this was Wendy Williams' manager, would actually use your money to go get a lawyer to start setting you up and stuff like that. And then want, this person wants legal guardianship over your bank accounts. Someone who's not even your family member has the audacity to do, to do this. By the way, I just really quickly wanted to mention as well that Wendy has mentioned that she trusted Bernie, you know, and she was happy to have him as a manager and stuff like that. But now she's saying this man is no good. And you know what? I agree with her. I wouldn't want somebody, someone to betray me like this. Is there any compassion that these people have for Wendy and what they're doing to her? They don't even realize, like, this woman already has health issues. And this problem with her money being frozen is adding, I believe, to her health issues as well, even more. Imagine the stress of not even being able to have access to your bank account and your millions, money that you've worked hard for. And that's what Wendy said. This is not fair. She has worked hard for all her money. She doesn't steal from anybody. This is all her hard work. And she needs her money back. And I support her 100%. But this man, Bernie, anybody in Hollywood that plans to have this man be their manager, you have to watch out. Pay attention to what he's done to Wendy Williams in this situation. You guys, I support Wendy, all right? And um, it's not fair for this stuff to happen. I still think that Wendy can handle her money. Although there's all these rumors and allegations from a former ex-doctor who submitted these documents along with her ex-manager, Bernie, and also let's not forget the Wells Fargo ex-friend and ex-financial advisor, Lori Bianco Schiller, who also played a role in Wendy not having access to her funds. So there's three people involved, the fired doctor, the fired manager, and the fired financial advisor, who have all allegedly are working together to bring Wendy Williams down. It appears. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and listening to another view. Um, let me know your comments down below. Are you surprised that Wendy Williams' family is not going to file for guardianship over her bank accounts? I'm not because her family knows her, right? And if her family thinks that she can do this on her own, then she can do it on her own. There are people who want Wendy's money because she's vulnerable and they see that she's someone that's an easy target and they can take advantage of her in my opinion and that's pretty much it they don't care about her the only person that I really see that loves Wendy the most is her son her dearest son he's the only one that she really has 
in her corner that loves her and values her. Let's not even get started on Dirty Calvin. Anyway, until our next conversation, take care of yourselves. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram at Sunday Omni. And if you'd like to support me, please check out the video description and get your copy of my book. It's called More Than Good Enough. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say down below in the comment section. Oh, poor Wendy. She's in trouble, you guys. Take care. Cheers.